to Wedding Fairs Yorkshire for inviting me here today to talk to you about wedding cakes. My name is Julie, I'm from Julie's Cake in a Box. I'm based in Beverly, but I cover all of the East Riding um, and beyond, wherever you'd like me to go. Um, I want to start off this morning by just saying to you, um, answering some frequently asked questions before I go on to looking at the cakes in more detail. Things like, when do I need to order my wedding cake? Normally, I would say allow at least six to 12 months. Um, you want to make sure that you can get booked in with your preferred supplier. Obviously, the way things are at the moment with um, everybody from 2020 postponing into 2021, all of the cake makers and other suppliers are getting really booked up. Um, so obviously, if you're looking for a 2021 date, I would say now is the time to book. Um, get in touch um, and just see um, what availability there is. Obviously, if you're looking forward to 2022, 2023, again, start making inquiries now. It's never, ever too early to start looking. Next as well, how do I order? Um, really easy, get in touch to start with. All my contact details are on my website. Give me a phone call, drop me an email, and we can start the ball rolling. Uh, you can come and have a consultation at my studio in Beverly. We can do a Zoom chat um, if you'd rather do that rather than coming through. Um, and we can just start talking about design, sizes, that kind of thing. Um, again, size, what size wedding cake do I need? It depends, it depends how many people you're serving. Do you want a big elaborate cake? Even if you're having quite a small wedding, we can pad the wedding cakes out with um, dummy tears and things. So you don't necessarily need to have the whole cake as cake. We can do fake tears as well, okay? So moving on to the price, how much does it cost? That is a really, really popular question. Uh, one of the first questions that most people ask, how much? It depends on the detail, it depends on the size. Um, average cakes start from about £350 for a three tier, but obviously if you're going for a massive four, five, six tier cake with all the detail on, then the price is going to start going up um, quite a little bit. But again, if you're only wanting a small, if you're having a small intimate wedding, um, it's going to be cheaper. So it all depends on the style and the size. Um, but again, that's something we can discuss in more detail um, when you get in touch with me or when you come down and see me um, here in Beverly. One of the most exciting things about ordering your cake is deciding what flavour you would like to choose. Um, a lot of people do like to choose traditional style flavours. Um, I would say probably about 95% of my cakes go out with just sponge tears. Um, I can do fruit tears as well with the fruit cake, but definitely the sponge tears are so much more popular. Um, and again, you can choose different flavours. If you're going for a three tier cake, you can have three different flavours, one for each tier. Um, popular ones over the last couple of years have been chocolate, it's always a favourite, vanilla, um, lemon, really nice zesty fresh tasting cake and um, that's one of my most popular flavours. Salted caramel is um, another flavour that over this last year or two has really grown in popularity. Um, white chocolate and raspberry, carrot cake, red velvet, the list goes on and on and on. Um, if there's any particular flavours that you like, I was asked once for Battenberg flavour, um, chocolate lime, you know, anything we can look at um, and discuss in more detail with you. But as I say, a lot of people do choose some of the traditional ones and then maybe one or two tiers in something a little bit more different. Um, for the consultation, when you come down, you can sample some of the flavours that I do. Um, I don't charge for that. If you wanted them to be sent out to you, if you didn't want to come around, um, then we'd have a chat about that. There might be a little bit of postage um, to cover. But as part of the consultation service, I do give free samples. Um, some people charge for the samples, but mine are free. Um, so come and see me, get in touch, and we can take that from there. Another thing is the payment for your cake. Again, because you're booking it quite a far in advance, I just ask for a £50 deposit um, just to hold your date because obviously I do work on my own, so I can only take on so many cakes a year. Um, so that £50 holding fee will hold your date for you and then the balance can be paid four weeks before the wedding. If you would like to pay in instalments, some brides and grooms like to pay kind of chunks of money off as they have it during the year and um, that's absolutely fine you can do that as long as it's paid for four weeks before you can choose whichever way you want to do it um 
Delivery and setup is normally included in the price as well. I tend to deliver all the cakes. Um, as you can imagine, traveling with a 340 cake is a little bit nerve wracking. Um, quite often, depending on the design, I will bring it in more than one piece and stack it actually at the venue itself. Um, and at the end of the day, it's your wedding day. You don't want to be worrying about the cake and getting it there in one piece. So that's all done for you, all looked after. Um, and then when you arrive, your cake's there already and waiting. As you may have peeked from over my shoulder, um, you may notice my cakes, not quite the traditional cakes that you often see at weddings. I tend to specialise in more of the novelty styled cakes. Um, so things that are a little bit different. Um, it may be a rustic wedding, you know, like in a barn or something like that. You maybe want something a little bit more rustic, like the um, silver birch or the wooden theme, a woodland theme. This one here, even though they are made of polystyrene, they are quite heavy, so oh, bear with me. So something like this, um, quite rustic. It's all edible. This particular one is polystyrene underneath, obviously, so I can keep it. But everything on top is edible, all the sugar paste, and it's being airbrushed to give that rustic wooden effect. Um, this particular one has been topped and decorated with little woodland creatures for a woodland theme, but you could quite easily have, instead of the animals on the top here, you could easily have a bride and groom. Um, if you wanted to keep something a little bit more traditional with it, you don't have to go full on novelty. Pop that one back. So you may have noticed I've got quite a little bit of steampunk going on. There's this one here, which is a really, really heavy one. Um, I'll see if I can bring it. This is a brand new design. You are actually the first to see it. Um, it's been made during lockdown, so keeping myself busy. Um, this is really quite a huge cake, uh, as you can see in comparison to the others. So we've got the draped detail at the bottom there, um, ah, the bodice and then roses and the steampunk hat as I delicately go down the screen there. Put that one back. And then next to it, um, another steampunk variety. You don't have to have steampunk, it's just, I quite like it. Um, so again, a lot of detail on that one. But then this is one of the reveal style cakes, which a lot of people do quite like because it gives you the option of being quite traditional from the front, so when people first look at it, it's giving the impression of a really tradi traditional kind of a simplistic style. But then at the back, you can get to have some fun. And there we go. at the back, you get some detail. So um, a question there about do I do gluten free and egg free? I will look at them. Um, because the kitchen that I work in, I do handle gluten products. I do handle eggs and things. I can never guarantee that it's completely free from cross-contamination. Um, so while the suitable for people who are intolerant, if you've got a really severe allergy, um, you are probably better going to somebody more specialist, just to make sure, because the last thing you want on your wedding day, particularly if it's yourself, the last thing you want is to um, have any risk of any upset tummies. So as I say, I, I can do gluten-free and I can do egg-free and you know, dietary requirements, but if it's for a severe allergy, um, you just need to be careful uh, because obviously I can't guarantee there's no cross-contamination. So I hope that answers your question, but if you've got any, need any more details, um, just comment again or get in touch and we can discuss it further depending on how severe your allergy or your intolerances are. Okay, so that's that one. And again, with the reveal style, it seemed a really good idea at the time. This was early in lockdown. I thought, oh, I'll make a new cake and let's go local. Let's support the local football team. That was before they were relegated. Um, so maybe not quite such a popular style now, I don't know, going forward, maybe with the diehard fans. But don't forget, you can have this in any team. It doesn't have to be Hull City. You can do any theme with this. Okay. So again, it's another one of the reveal ones where you have the traditional details at the front. So this one's got sugar ruffles at the front there, um, coordinating ribbons, obviously in the orange and the black for the, the whole city theme. And then as it turns around, there we go. we've got the, the football at the back and then the revealed for the whole city theme. But again, you could, you could theme it around any sport, um, any team, maybe a team that's going to look a bit better than whole city. I don't know. That's up to you. 
So as you can see, they're just a few examples of the kind of cakes that I do. Um, again, your theme of your wedding, like the celebrant was talking about earlier, it can be themed around anything. Your imagination is the only limit. So maybe if you're getting married on a beach, you would want um, a beach-styled wedding cake with all the um, shells and sand, things like that on. So we can take the personal elements, things that are personal to you um, and your partner, and we can incorporate that into a cake. Cakes are one way that you can really put a personal stamp on your wedding. Um, obviously with your venues and things, you can dress them up, but the cake is just completely standalone. You can do whatever you want with that cake. Um, another thing that I do as well as the cakes is I actually do um, cookies, so little wedding favours. So again, these were made to complement the steampunk cake, as you can see there with your guests. So they could just have the little wedding favours um, on the tables for them, just something a little bit different. And again, I've seen lots of talk, lots of chat about dogs. Um, literally, just as I was about to come on air, my dog came outside and was barking away. Luckily, I think somebody quickly grabbed her and put her back in. Um, quite nice on your wedding cake. If you're um, a pet owner, you can have your pets on there as well. So I've got here just some little dogs. So depending on what breed of dog you've got, I've quite often done cakes with a bride and groom on top and then their pets around the bottom as well. Um, or children can be incorporated onto it. So lots and lots of different designs that you can choose from. If anybody's got any questions, please do put them up. I'm trying to watch out in the comments um, as we're going along. Um, so again, with the cookie favours, they start, depending on the design, these will start at around two pounds, two pounds fifty each, um, depending on the styles that you choose, how much decoration is involved, how many you have in, and that kind of thing. They will be sealed um, in a plastic, a plastic bag, um, all sealed, vacuum sealed up, so that they can stay fresh. And they will actually stay fresh for about a month. So your guests can take them home afterwards with them if they don't want to eat them on the day, because no doubt you'll have all sorts of delicious goodies for them to eat. Okay, but they can make a really nice compliment to go along with your wedding cake. Uh, just to stay in theme and in the design that you've chosen. So getting in touch with me, as I mentioned earlier, you can pop along to my website. Um, I keep seeing the address being popped up there, so you'll know where I am. There's a lot more details on there of what I do, a lot more different designs of wedding cakes. Um, I can do traditional, by the way, just in case you wondered. I do have, I do sugar flowers. Um, but whilst other people specialise in the sugar flowers, my speciality is more, more the unusual. I've noticed it's getting a lot more popular these days. Um, and it's something that I really do enjoy, it's something that I'm quite passionate about. Just doing things that are a little bit different. Um, I'll show you a quick example of some of the really unusual. If you're a bit squeamish, you might want to look away and come back. So this was one of my zombie cakes that I've made. Um, just to show you that like I said, anything can be done with sugar. This is completely edible. Um, I don't think I would want to eat him personally, but like I said, the sky's the limit. So a really popular theme in um, America. We seem to get our trends coming from America. I'll move them in case you don't like them. We seem to inherit a lot of trends from America coming through. Um, and one of the big things that I've seen more of lately is groom's cakes as well. So you could have a really nice traditional wedding cake and then something a little bit more unusual um, to go alongside it as a groom's cake. So anything like that, um, that's something that I would really be pleased to look at for you. So quick recap, I'm Julie from Julie's Cake in a Box, based in Beverly in East Yorkshire. Um, but as I say, I will travel and oh, I'm glad you like the zombie cake. I, was, I wasn't sure whether you would like it or not. Some people are a bit Ooh, about things like that, but yeah, that's kind of that's the things that I do. Um, but I can do cute and I can do traditional. Um, I'm not all about steampunk and zombies, but yeah, they are a little bit of a passion. So thank you very much for watching. If you've got any other questions, either get in touch with me. Um, I'll leave some comments. I'll go back through the comments just in case I missed anything. Um, I think I did catch them all, but just in case. I will have a little look through. Um, and yeah, that's that's me, doing this cake in a box in Beverly. So thank you very much for watching. And if anybody has any questions, please get in touch. As I say, I am doing consultations at the moment um, 
at my studio in Beverly. So if you did want to pop along and see me and discuss your wedding cake, we can do that.